Alright, today I just wanted to give you some information on the different types of chiropractic care that are out there. One of the things I experience often is I will talk to people who have been to chiropractors and I'll ask them, I'll say, hey, what kind of care did you do? And I've never had anybody give me an answer that was proper. What everyone says is, oh, well, I went to a chiropractor, didn't you hear me? Or they'll say, oh, um, he had this little clicker thing or he twisted me this way or that way. And I'm not talking about the technique, we're actually talking about what kind of care did you do. And the three main types of care are relief, corrective, and preventative care. These different types of care, they do different things and have different goals. At our office, this is what we like to talk about so people can make informed choices. The first type of care is called relief care or initial intensive care. Most people when they come in here, they have obvious symptoms. And obviously they don't want to be there. They want to be way down at the other end in a prevention and maintenance optimum function stage. In the initial stages of care with relief care, people go until they feel better and their symptoms are gone. Many people when they get to this point where their symptoms are gone, guess what they do? They actually quit coming because they think that they're fixed. The problem is if these muscles and tissues have not been changed and those weak links or damaged areas are still there, what do you think is going to happen the minute this person goes out and does something that stresses those muscles and tissues? They're just going to drop right back to where they were. And then they're going to go in again and get on what's called a relief care cycle. So the problem with this is you're always hurting, you're always having the same problems come back. In relief care, done over and over, you should expect nothing else. The problem is most people don't even realize that's what they're doing, or they think that's the only thing that's available to them, or they just don't realize that the muscles and tissues haven't been changed. So the key is to get the muscle and tissue changes. So the question then becomes, how do you know when the muscle and tissue changes have happened? The answer is based on the testing that we do. The testing shows you if the tissues are functioning well or poor. And if they're functioning poor, then you are susceptible to have problems. And if they're functioning well, then you are susceptible to having good function. And which one would you rather be? So the key is to get the tissue changes. We measure that in our office with testing. For example, if you can't turn your head all the way or you have a restriction in some motion, that means the tissue is not working properly and you're going to be susceptible to having problems. It's just common sense. So getting the tissue changes to happen so that you can function at the highest level possible is what we call corrective care. You're correcting your inability to do certain tests that we do. The other type of care is once someone's doing well, there's what's called preventative or wellness care and what that means is with our testing we're able to determine where you have muscle tightness or tension that's developing often you won't even know that muscle tension or tightness is even there if we just left it there what do you think would happen over time every time you build muscle tension you're gonna slide back down into problems so the idea is when we can detect where the muscle tension is nip it in the bud, get rid of the muscle tension, now you're less susceptible to having problems and you're going to be at a higher level of function. And that's what we call preventative care. And who do you think needs that? The other question is, why wouldn't you want to prevent problems? Because really, nobody would ever want to see you coming in with a bunch of pain and problems that we could have prevented. Why anybody would choose that just doesn't even make sense. So usually there's some type of misunderstanding with the types of care or what the purpose is or how to measure how you're doing. When you look at measuring how you're doing, that's no different than anything in healthcare. Dentists don't tell you to come when your teeth hurt. If they did only that, you would have no teeth left. When you go to the doctor, they don't ask you how you feel and that determines if you get a mammogram or a breast exam or a blood pressure test. Testing shows how the body functions, and that tells you how susceptible you are to problems. 
Same thing with the testing that we do with your muscles and tissues. They tell us how susceptible you are to having problems. The key is to be in the top and stay in the top so that you can have the highest function as possible.